Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to a bonus video on Lightroom blog channel. We're going to talk about something that can be used as a plug into Lightroom but is a standalone editor in and of itself and that is Exposure X4 from Alien Skin. So we're actually going to look at one of the management features that's been added which is tethered to shooting. Hey folks, so let's dive in and have a look at what is an alternative to Lightroom if you're looking for a non-subscription application. This does have management features so that you can basically do collections and smart collections and things like that. So you can do a little bit of management of your files if you need basic management for your files. Other applications like Luminar don't offer this currently, although they do have a browse module that is in the works. But in the meantime, uh, X4 do does have quite a lot of management features. So let's dive in and have a look at tethering. So no nattering, let's just do it. So here I am with X4 open and basically nothing in here at the moment. Now to get started, I'm going to do something that you can do in Lightroom and most of the programs that allow you to connect folders and stuff like that. And that is to go to the manufacturer's software. Now in this case here, I'm using X Acquire. And from here that I can show a destination folder. Now in this case here, I have something already set, but for convenience here, because I have the desktop here, I'm actually going to go to the desktop, go new folder. And I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call it food. Okay. Right. And so that's done there. And now food is shown up here. So I am able to come in here and right click us and go monitor folder. So that means that it is going to basically keep a watch and coming into that folder. So auto select latest means that when it comes in, the, the, the most recent file that I've shot will be selected. Now you can of course apply metadata here. Um, so I'll drag this down and make it a little bit larger. You can use presets. Now, I don't have any here, so I could put in, uh, well, put in the right symbol there, Sean helps. And so on and so forth. So I'll just fill this in really quickly. So I've just thrown in a few things. Now, if I want here, I can specify a collection, create a new collection. So for example, here, I could just type in food and it's going to create a collection called food. Now if I want here I can choose presets and what it'll do is it can create comparison presets. So I want to come up here I can select like a black and white or I can select different like low contrast print. Um, so I could have a Riala and let's say I'm going to select something a bit um, higher contrast. So maybe a Provia or something like that. Um, come on let me select it. So these will be created as virtual copies as we go in. And of course, you've got the option to rename the files as you go in, if you so desire. Um, so let me just do that really, really quickly. Um, so custom text, and in this case, this is food. We just call it food. And let me just delete those other ones and put in a sequence in a second here. Sequence, yeah, starting at one. One, okay. All right, so it's just gonna have that come in so we can see that's going on. So as I take pictures, it's ready to go. Now, video wise, hopefully you can see a video of what's going on here. So I'm just gonna pop over to the camera for a second. Okay, so in camera itself, if I go into the menu, um, we need to come down to the connection settings, basically. And the connection settings in PC mode needs to be set up to be a USB tether shooting auto. Uh, so that's essentially that you're in that particular mode, otherwise it's not going to work properly. I mean, you have shooting fixed, but shooting fixed doesn't write to the card, and I would prefer to have it written to the card and to the computer at the same time, so I have that backup. I'm going to move the microphone over to hopefully pick up. So I think this should be showing you what I'm seeing on the back of the screen. So just so you know that it's actually video, there's my hand. So I'm actually going to take the shot now. And that's telling me that it's just overexposed ever so slightly. So I'm just going to bring that down. And I'm just going to take a shot. So as you can see, they're starting to come in there. And what you'll notice as well is that we have the original and then we have the film emulations as well. So you get the comparison. So 
that's why it looks like there's loads of images coming in but there's not there's only one and then the virtual copies that we've created but as you can see here that the monitoring folder is still up there visible to us so if i wanted to come in and say move something around here just to change how they look is and i could do that and so we can basically do various various stuff to get stuff tethered in so you can see that it's pretty straightforward to have that monitored I'm just going to bring the microphone back over so that is how you set up tethering it's really really straightforward because you literally all it is a matter of right clicking the folder that you want to monitor and go and when you're done you can just click stop and that is no longer tethering to that folder now in this case here if i take the photograph without the monitoring on what's happening is that we still have an image that will come in because of the fact that we were telling Exequire to send it into that folder so we can see that that one has come up here but we can see that it hasn't been renamed and it won't have any of the metadata and stuff like that added and it doesn't have any of these presets to see what the options are Provi actually looks great here on this now just as I'm looking as it so happens um, so that is tethering and it's really straightforward it's one of the new features of Exposure X4 Hi folks, I hope you enjoyed that. I do have the food kind of set up over there. So, you know, it is kind of a matter of uh, having it there. I know, I know me shooting natural light. What is that about? It's not all natural light. It was using some of my video light as well just to fill it in. But most of the light from there was natural light because it's actually a really nice day out. So now I have seed bread in my mouth. So folks, I hope you did enjoy that video. The usual, thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Please do share it with your friends and stuff like that. Before I go, though, I will talk very briefly about the fact that people are looking for alternatives to Lightroom. To be honest with you, a lot of them is about the subscription model and you're just trying to get away from that. And I understand why I want to do that. But uh, I love Alien Skin. I love what they're doing. I love the people in there as well. Um, and they are working really hard to get more management features. On the management front, Lightroom is still definitely better and they're continually adding new features all of the time as well. So a lot of the applications are playing catch up to that. But if you are looking for... Uh, an application that isn't a subscription model then exposure x4 is actually a really really good option for you all right folks thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video